Hey guys, today is April Empties video. The point of these videos is really to highlight the things that I am finishing up that I, I like enough to keep in my collection until they run out. Um, and also to highlight the products that, that I will or would repurchase in the future. Um, keep in mind that I am transitioning into greener, cleaner, healthier beauty products. Um, I uh, have normally been really quite heavily concentrated on perhaps more luxury um, products like skincare and makeup. But uh, recently, within the last couple of months, I've started sort of thinking and shifting my perspective towards perhaps transitioning to cleaner, greener alternatives. Um, however, much of what I'm getting out of my collection and using up is going to be just conventional beauty stuff. So I'm gonna show you what it is that I'm using in real life and using up in real life. We have categories of uh, nails, skin, uh skincare and then body care and makeup and this month there's a ton of makeup so if you feel the weird satisfaction that i feel of watching empties it's really satisfying this month because i just have so much in terms of my uh, color makeup that is for some reason finished this month so let's start with the nails i have my nail uh, polish remover and this is called onyx professional remover moisturizing formula this was in lavender scent it, this worked okay it was really quite gentle on the nails which i did like i've replaced it with this delon um, nail polish remover but this is 100 percent acetone so this is actually more um, effective at removing the nail polishes but it is harsher for sure and i feel the difference for sure again right away um, I will probably repurchase something like that or maybe this particular one again I do want to try the Zoya one because I hear that it's quite effective and a little bit cleaner So we'll see how that goes Then I have two nail polishes that I finished this month. First of all um, If you were watching my project polish, there it is um, uh, These are The polishes that I finished this month from my project polish first of all NCLA Libra uh, and I've mixed, custom mixed this color for myself when I get bored with it and now it's all gone. I'm very happy to have it out because uh, like I said, I was getting bored with it, but after I mixed it up, I really enjoyed the color that I got. So uh, I was no longer bored with it. Hence why I finished it. Then Formula X Wonderlust. I loved this shimmering taupe. I would love to buy it again actually, but unfortunately Formula X is discontinued, so I can't. So I will have to resort to finding something similar and there are tons of similar options on the market So I'm not really worried. Then we have some body care I have a shower gel that I finished up and this is the body shop in almond shower gel um, I keep kept buying uh, body, body shop for years because I love the scents um, Almond is one of my favorite scents and I've been buying it for like a decade or however long it was out for I really really enjoy the scent. I will miss it um, I will have to I, I still have tons of backups of these shower gels in various scents so you will keep seeing them um, disappear in the empties but uh, I don't think I will keep, continue buying these kinds of shower gels and probably will keep buying something a little bit more natural um, and uh, with, with just better skin ingredients then we have the same can be said actually about Bath and Body Works I still have a couple of things probably from them that I am going to use up because I like Bath and Body I happen to like this particular formal actually Ultra Shea Body Cream 24 hour moisture this uh, particular scent is white tea and ginger and they have really a lot of great scents of Bath and Body Works if you're not uh -huh. trying to go greener cleaner like me um, you might enjoy getting this particular formula is quite moisturizing gets absorbed into the skin they have quite a selection of scents you will definitely find something you enjoy um but for me once i finish up my backups i will not be repurchasing because i'm going to concentrate on trying to find something a little bit cleaner and so far i've been kind of successful at uh, replacing uh, my non-natural lotions um, something that is very natural and very clean and something that is absolutely a raved about product and with good reason is uh, Schmidt's natural deodorant and this is rose and vanilla scent. This is probably my favorite scent that they make. I really like it I finished it and it broke as you can see <laughs> there's nothing left um, I really like the scent. It's a little bit messy 
probably I'm I, I will probably go for a jar next time because these guys are not fantastic in terms of like the packaging is does not contain the product completely but this is the best that I found so far in terms of actually keeping me odor free um, this has arrowroot powder coconut oil wax shea butter baking soda so um, baking soda is the ingredient that doesn't work for everybody some people are quite sensitive to baking soda for me it works great um, however the rest of the ingredients are really really great we have uh, sodium bicarb uh, baking soda um, capric triglyceride which is fractionated coconut oil jojoba seed oil natural fragrance whatever probably probably uh, fragrance oil of some sort vitamin e and sunflower derived this is really good like uh, effective i like the scent it doesn't print on my clothes but at the same time by the time i get pit stains i probably don't want to keep the shirts anyway so i mean this works for me um, so far i've tried a few natural kinds of brands including um, deodorant rocks like the solid ones uh, and those have not worked out for me at all this one did i think uh, i am probably that person who will get on with the uh, baking soda based deodorants I've tried some non-baking soda based ones and it really didn't work, but I'll film a separate video because I actually kept all the deodorants that I've tried from the natural segment and uh, I'll tell you which ones worked for me, which ones didn't. In terms of skincare on the face, we have uh, a mask that I finished up and this is AHC Aesthetic Hydration Cosmetics and this is a Korean, when I was really into Korean skincare, which I still really enjoy. but. Um, there are fewer options available in terms of organic, natural, 100% clean. Um, this mask is fine, there's nothing special about it. And a uh, really great oil that I found, and this is Spa Nouveau. And this is Rose Hip Seed Oil. That was really, really good. Uh, natural, 100% Rose Hip Seed Cold Pressed Oil, which is what you should be looking for. It doesn't really matter to me which particular brand it comes from but what i loved is the fact that it's in a little pump this is amazing please do that more i love it when brands put good packaging basically into their pro um, development and uh, come up with excellent packaged products please do that more pumps everywhere just pumps and squeezy tubes raining down that's what i want um two fragrances are over and done with this month first of all Guerlain le bleu um, this is a difficult to wear fragrance and I do think it's very very interesting and it's definitely for lovers of vintage perfumery very beautiful scent but for me difficult to wear so I won't be repurchasing that Miss Dior absolutely blooming I used a small size like that and I didn't like it at all now let's move to the makeup it's insanity how much makeup I've used up one of them is uh, Becca low light sculpting perfecter and this is absolutely completely done. I will not be repurchasing it. I don't think they make it anymore even. Um, I do prefer my Burini bronzer by RMS to that one, but it was decent. Then we have a Chorus product, again, pretty clean. Chorus Mineral Illuminating Powder, a uh, Wild Rose Powder. This hung on for two years of consistent use and it's finally, finally done. Um, I am quite happy to see this done because I didn't think it will ever be over, but here we are. Uh, this is a really nice, fairly clean illuminating powder, uh, very gentle illuminator. It's not stark by any means, very, very pretty. Uh, you need very little and it had a lot of product um, in it. Uh, it had 8.5 grams of loose powder. And this illuminating loose powder will last you forever so if you enjoy chorus products and you're a fan of the brand if you can find the equivalent of whatever they make now uh, of this they might still make this particular powder I'm not quite sure but this is good stuff I will not be repurchasing however because I do tend to gravitate towards cream illuminators for my very dry skin <laughs> if you know my channel you know this girl is really half uh, a raisin inside um, then we have three mascaras um, well two mascaras and a lash primer and this lash primer is where I would like to start this is Dior Dior show lash maximizer or maximizer 3d uh, says triple volume plumping lash primer 
I agree. It's fantastic. I've repurchased it time and time again. I've owned it for about three or four years at this point. Well, obviously not this tube, but I continuously repurchase. I will miss this. I need to find a natural clean alternative to this because it does make my lashes feel and look really good. Um, it makes my lashes look good in the shirt short term because it makes any mascara look and stay really, really nicely. Um, and also in the long run, I did feel like it did condition my lashes. I'm sure it wouldn't work for everybody and I have a decent amount of lashes. So I did see a difference. I don't know. It really worked for me. I enjoy it a lot may even repurchase it if I don't find something similar in the natural beauty market. Um, another mascara that I love is Yves Saint Laurent. Yves Saint Laurent, Dior, Estee Lauder, they all make really fantastic mascaras. I'm a big fan of those uh, brands for mascaras and Lancome, oh my god, Lancome mascaras are fantastic as well. I haven't found something comparable to this and this is a YSL uh, FFOC baby doll, so false lash effect in the baby doll format. What this means is that it has this awesome little brush. I love these types of small brushes. This is what my preference is. Also natural bristle, medium sized brushes I like. Um, so this type of a mascara is what I love the most. It's not scratchy, it has some shorter bristles, but they comb through the lashes and it has these flatter edges where you have mascara collecting so you can really like pile it on and brush it through the lashes so this is a, a really amazing mascara i have it in full size actually so i will still use it because i haven't opened it yet even this is new new in my stash um, and i've used that baby doll one since it was released i bought it several times over i really like it i would continue to buy it again if i wasn't transitioning into greener alternatives I'm hopeful that I can find something similar on the market, but so far I haven't seen anything like that. Um, case in point, we have a fail natural mascara and this is mineral volumizing mascara, very black in color revolution. This is the brand. Um, the, it does have a fairly decent ingredient deck. Uh, it has jojoba oil, uh, some waxes, uh, corn starch, uh, lanolin, glycerin, like fairly decent ingredients that I would imagine to be quite hydrating and nour nourishing for the lashes, but this mascara didn't do squat for my lashes. It was so just nothing. It was just nothing. Um, what's the point of wearing a mascara if it's going to give you zero effect? Um, I'm just tossing it because it's useless. <laughs> I'm, I'm very, very disappointed in it. Then a primer that I finished up is this one, and this is a Shiseido Refining Makeup Primer. And I totally recommend you go out and get this, but it's not clean beauty, so I'm not going to. But I loved and squeezed out every little bit of this primer. This is not a full size, those 10 mils here. I used it judiciously, and I really love the effect of it. I think it might be a bit ashy if you're not fair or light. Um, so not for everybody unfortunately but again I don't have dark skin so I'm just assuming from the tint of the primer that it could be ashy but I haven't actually seen it on dark skin so I don't know for sure let me know if you have darker skin tone if this one if you've used it if it works or doesn't work for you but for me it was a really really nice primer it was perfect for my skin type for my dry skin very smoothing I could just wear that primer some lashes or oh, I mean mascara um, brows and a lip gloss and I would feel a hundred percent good in my skin Not that I don't anyway. I feel great in my skin whatever the case But uh, this guy oh my goodness. I really liked it But I won't be repurchasing or purchasing it. I guess because this was a trial size because not clean ingredients are questionable um, I did finish three uh, lip products and this is unheard of this is all-time record for me. I have never finished three lip products in a month. It blows my mind, but I've been working on them for a while, so this is, it's not, it's, I saw it coming, that was not a surprise. And uh, two of them were in my Project Pan. Um, I love panning and Project Panning because I do think it really fits with the minimalism idea of use what you have, finish things that you buy, love the stuff that you own, um, and just slow down maybe on the purchases. Um, but I'm not against buying things, I'm just only want to buy what I really will think I will love. I don't need to have everything the newest and the shiniest and I'm a curious, curious girl, but 
I do prefer to just keep using what I have. So speaking of, this is uh, Guerlain Rouge Automatique in 160. This was in my project pan and it is completely used up. I'm very happy about that. I loved this and I would recommend you purchase it if you're not transitioning to green or beauty like I am, so I won't. But this was a really, really great lip product and just function functionally, it was sort of semi-sheer glossy lipstick that didn't move too much. Um, very, very comfortable, very moisturizing. And two products that are clean. This is really one of the brands that really prompted me to move towards cleaner beauty because I saw really clean brand, like reasonably clean brand, doing it well, like being my favorite. And this is by Beauty in terms of their lip products. They're definitely at the top of my list right now. Um, I have this by Beauty High Pigment Pencil in Madeira, and I've completely just devoured this guy. This is a nice nude. I might be buying it again in the same color even. Why not? It was really good on my, lip, on my skin tone. And the same can be said about by Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon in Gabby. Also fantastic. This is a creamy matte formula. Very comfortable. Just, I can't... This is really good, guys. It's just, it's good lip products, green or not, and I will be repurchasing for sure. So these are the empties for this month. Um, I've used up a ton of stuff, especially in the makeup department. Really, like it's raining empty makeup today for some reason. I've used up a ton. I'm very happy about it, and I will continue to focus on the products that I do have and forming and sharing the opinions that are very, I'm very sure about like the last thing I want is to be flip-flopping and changing my opinions about products as I use them. I need to focus on stuff and like be sure what I think about each each individual item. That's it for today. Let me know if you finished anything that you would repurchase for me. Um, definitely the Bite Beauty lipsticks. I have already purchased shades um, and uh, rose hip seed oil from uh, Spanugo, I would purchase again. This was reasonably priced and very nice quality of oil. And, and this is a this is a sneak, sneaking in a bad, bad pick for somebody who's transitioning into greener products, but I just love this. So if I can find an alternative that is greener, let me know below if you know of one, because I need, I need something similar to this. This guy is really great for me, works really well. I've been using for years. So if I don't find anything similar, I may or may not repurchase this. I don't know yet. So that's it for today, guys. Have a good day. See you later. Bye-bye.